Hey, this is Jason Grimm with the Cisco Cloud Architecture team with a quick tip today on how to uh, inject some Cloud Init um, data into your running or into your, into your booting instances. Um, specifically here, what we'll look at is um, using a few commands to uh, enable password authentication uh, as well as set a, uh, a password for the default uh, account on a new running instance. What we have is a, uh, a new demo tenant with, with nothing in it. Um, I just deleted those instances. Um, basic uh, single network, uh, single router installation. And uh, what we're going to do is I've um, already set up a, a security group and some keys and things. But what we'll do here from the CLI is. Uh, Back here and uh, increase the font here a little bit. Um, so, right now we have no instances running, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to boot one instance up with uh, the default settings and get back to that in my history. Um, so, instance one, um, they're both going to use the same image and uh, they're both, both going to use the same key, same flavor, same security group, and the same network. This one's going to be called instance one, and we're just going to boot that with no user data in, injected. Um, so that one is, is off and building. The next one that we um, are going to boot is going to have some user data in it. First, actually, let's take a look at the, at the user data file. Um, this is a, a pretty basic user data file. It, it essentially um, just injects into Cloud Init. Uh, it sets a password for the default account um, and uh, turns the expiration to false and turns on uh, SSH password authentication. Um, we're going to boot that and we're going to call that Cloud Init uh, user data with. Um, with this following extra option, uh, dash dash user dash data, and we're going to refer to the, the user data file. Um, you can put the user, you can pipe the user data in directly in there in quotes, but uh, I find it's easier to, to put it in the file. Um, that This one we're going to call instance2, and we're going to go ahead and kick that one off. And since we want to get uh, to these remotely, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to add a, a couple of floating IPs to them. So we're going to do that real quick. And I've already got the IPs set up. Um, okay, so instance one, we're going to give dot 19 to. Go ahead and associate that. And instance two, we're going to give dot 20. And now if we look at our instances, they're both already built, uh, they're both already running, and the new IPs are associated. Uh, what you'll see, though, that the difference between the two is if I just try and SSH into the first instance, uh, this is the one without any user data. It's going to try, uh, so password authentication is off. It's only going to try a, the, the key authentication. Um, since I didn't specify a key, it's just going to deny us outright. If I go ahead and specify a key uh, and try again, so now I'm able to, to get into that server using the key. Um, what you'll see conversely with the other server is without specifying a key. If I SSH in, now I'm actually prompted for a password. And if I set, if I type cloud, which is what I set in the user data file, um, I'll be able to to get in. So that's just a quick tip for today: uh, injecting some basic cloud init uh, data via the user data flag um, in the Nova Boot command.
Thanks. Have a good day.